It was a gathering of seasoned experts and Nigerian professionals as Data and Science Nigeria, in collaboration with ProShare, hosted a special session to celebrate the exceptional service of Dr. Yemi Kale, the immediate past statistician general of the Federation. As the longest serving director general of the National Bureau of Statistics, Dr. Kale was credited for transforming the NBS into an institution to be reckoned with in the area of data and economic planning. The CEO of ProShare, Mrs. Grace Adejari Ajiwon, and the founder, Data Science Nigeria, Mr. Bayo Adekombi, in their brief remarks commended the distinguished public servant for the value he brought to the MBS. Today, in being our hero, we know not all heroes are heroes. <laughs> uh, we celebrate him and um, we want to wish him all the best in his future and endeavors. There's a place to celebrate people like Dr. Emi Kale. We are so proud of you for what you have done. You have inspired a lot of people. And that's why we believe we need to tell the story that you can serve with excellence, uh, you can serve with integrity, reputation, and still maintain that intellectual sagacity, even in a very challenging context. Other notable leaders across the public and private sector lauded Dr. Kale for his dedication, hard work, and commitment to national development. This is one of the more impressive gatherings that I have been in a long time. And I, I don't say that to flatter the organizers, but I, I say that because as I look at the profile, um, many of you essentially are our successors in title. And this is not, quote unquote, a government event where people show up because they have to show up. Here you've got young people, middle-aged, <laughs> I was going to say middle-aged men, but on reflection, I think might add a lady or two to that one as well. Uh, but you know, it, it's, it's useful to have this kind of gathering. Um, I, I dare say, I mean, either partly today, but certainly I hope in the future we'll share his own experience of his time, not just over the last 10 years, but it's actually, most people, you, know, you guys talk about the last 10 years, you forget that he used to be a banker. <laughs> and by the way, a hugely successful banker at that. And so for a gentleman to have had before hitting middle age, two careers and successfully implemented them both, uh, that in itself is um, worthy of, uh, of you, our successors, understanding. It's also very important to draw attention to the uniqueness of the work that Dr. Kale has done. I graduated PhD in 1989. Yes, don't worry, it's, it's that bad. <laughs> No, no, it's after the Abyssinian War, believe me. But I, I remember then that I, I studied at the University of London and I was writing a thesis on inflation in Nigeria. And for data, I spent a lot of my time, then it was something called the Federal Office of Statistics. But I spent a lot, I had a lot more fruitful work done out of the London School of Economics library than I got done out of the Federal Office of Statistics in Nigeria. Now that shows you where, at least for some of us, our experience of using data in Nigeria started. Today, no matter what you will say about the gaps that remain to be filled, nobody, and I say so with every piece of confidence. Nobody who looks or who studied Nigeria, who's worked in Nigeria will tell you that in the last decade, not just the scope of data we've got, but the quality of the data we've got, but you know something that is unusual, the timeliness of the data that we get has moved on.
for us in NASG, evidence must drive whatsoever advocacy that we do. And knowing that data is critical, I mean, it's, it's another thing. For us, it's more than oil. Without those having the data to do the work, it's, it's, a, it's always a problem. And to realize that you have people that have capacity, ability to do all and then meet all of the needs. And by reason of the fact that we pay lip service to what we are doing, we will not make them, we will not fund them appropriately. It's, you know, sometimes I wonder when I say, but his love for Nigeria is beyond measure, right? And, and I thank God that you went in there, you, you conquered, right? And I just told them, I said, what's important is about values, living for value and living for purpose. I mean, it didn't matter what anybody was saying. I mean, a couple of people have just changed one figure or the other and they will make their bill of them. They have so, so, so that, you know, uh, there's something that we still. There was a slide during the WhatsApp that talks about. Is that Lori, what? Lori Kinney or Lori what? Lori Rock. Lori Rock. Lori Rock. But thank God you held up. And, uh, and I know a couple of us have said, ah, never again. But you know, this Nigeria, all of us must stand for. We have a responsibility to ensure that we defeat to the coming generation of better Nigeria. When you pass an exam, you tell yourself, it's because I studied, it's because I did this. You forget the people that told you to prepare, the people that helped you to prepare, and the people that taught you the things you know. I will never forget Yemi's advice from the beginning. The man has given 10 years. 10 years is a long time. Old. Yemi, thank you for your service. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for being a patriotic Nigerian. I mean, as patriotic as they come. If you cut him, I'm sure his blood will flow out green, white, green. <laughs> For us, um, just in, in the um, our little corner of the Nigerian market that we're studying, um, we, we really have visibility into um, how much effort goes into that process. Um, and so I'd just like to say, we really um, are, and for Afina, we wouldn't be able to do what we've done without the partnership of, of MBS. Uh, and, and and I think um, it's, they're sort of the unsung heroes, right? <laughs> so, so they're trudging out to the field uh, to support this work uh, year after year, even during even during the pandemic, by the way, which I think is something that we should really uh, recognize. When many, you know, private sector businesses were, were shutting down, um, the the MBS staff were were regrouping with us and, and figuring out ways to go to the field. Um, so I just want to extend, you know, sincere gratitude. Um, to Dr. Kale uh, for all of the work that he's done in establishing this, um, as everyone said, establishing this um, uh, a, a precedent that we now are, are sort of privileged enough to be able to take for granted <laughs> that, that we'll get this data um, and that we, we um, it's like the air we breathe. Uh, you, you don't value it, but, <laughs> but it's, um, it's essential to everything else that we do. So thank you very much and wish you all the best. The highlight of the event was a special toast in honor of Dr. Yemi Kale's meritorious service at the MBS by Mr. Olufemi Awoyemi, the chairman of Proshe Nigeria. The mindset of battles and visions and egos that you find in Nigeria, um, where I stay here in the sort of public history, what I have found from being close to Yemi is that I have learned more from Yemi than I have learned here in almost all the hard work and big nights we stay here. There is a continuous process in an environment that unintentionally harbors the best global governance practices and development methods in Nigeria. And yet, the individuals we find qualified to do their job and are given the opportunity are almost fine. Uh, the work Yemi has done, and uh, most people have commended him, and rightfully so. But what most people do not know is that the tool it has taken on him, emotionally, personally, in, in all other aspects of his life, in short, 
the enemy almost sacrificed himself so that Nigeria can have a credible uh, data system. To have worked with him, to have been under the guardians, and in some cases, to have taken the, the, uh, some of the body matter as well. And some of you will see that expressed in some of our committees concerning him. And the very best we have uh, who go into public service. So, Dr. Jeremy Kale, as a by your 30 feet, uh, working with Grace to celebrate you today, I just want to say uh, we wish you all the very best. And that we would like to see you not give up on what you started. You've inspired me to be so And you almost forsake the future of our children as well. So, Yami, um, God bless you. Thank you very much. And this little token um, should remind you that no good deed will ever go on in the We may not be able to put in the world. The former statistician general, overwhelmed by our colleagues and commendations, gave his response at the event. Truly, I want to thank the organizers, Prochia DSN, for this. I'm really, really, really humbled. Um, and for at least three reasons. One, um, because um, I honestly, I had this conversation with someone, a couple of in my family a few days. I honestly just believe I'm doing, I was just doing my job. Uh, and to hear people commend me and thank me for just doing my job, it's also kind of both humbling and the sad reflection of Nigeria. Because if I was in any other country, nobody would notice. Because people are just doing their job. So the fact that people are saying all this, I'm just doing my job. I don't believe I did anything special or extraordinary. I was just doing my job in line with what my job is supposed to be. Uh, and to hear this is both humbling. I um, appreciate it because 10 years, <laughs> I, I, I won't say a lot of it. When I release my book, then you will see some of it. <laughs> but. It's, it's the only, I think the people that can probably relate the most, I guess, maybe a serial or lab, you know, and it's, it's, it, it's, and I'm not trying to put anybody off, by the way, it's extremely hard. Uh, if you want to do your work, by the way, if you don't want to do your work, it's, I hear it's extremely entertaining, it's a lot of fun. Thank you very much for all the kind words. I'm really, really humbled. I am encouraged. Um, because, um, and I'm going to say this openly, I think my Lola and the Syria said it before me here one day, a few people. It took a lot, that's actually true. I'm not going to go into the details. I actually lost a lot from just trying to do the job, not, um, nothing else. Uh, things that I probably can never get back. Um, and it helps to soothe the, the I won't say pain, I won't call it pain, to soothe the, I won't call it regret either, I don't regret anything. When it sounds as if, well, it wasn't actually for nothing at the end of the day. And that helps a lot that, okay, a lot of people believe that I was able to make things better. That makes it worth it at the end of the day. Thank you very, very much for all your support. Thank you for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Dr. Yemi Kale's two-term service as the Director General of the National Bureau of Statistics brought innovation, dynamism, and efficiency in the institution. Stakeholders across the nation expect that the standards of integrity in the data of NBS will be sustained for national growth.